this is BPM bullets per minute. We're here on Xbox Series X taking a look at this rhythm-based roguelike shooter experience. What we're getting on the platform, 4K resolution, 60 FPS, no HDR, and a very fast-paced, intense kind of experience. So you're out here to kill, I think it's seven crazy bosses of whatever, with like, I believe up to ten different character sort of things, and you kind of unlock stuff as you go along here. But what's neat about the game is before you start, there's like this input lag thing where you have to set it up so that you can determine the latency and whatnot, because you've got to shoot on the beat. That's right, you got to use a wide range of different weapons to unleash against various enemies as you take on the foes that are present there. And it's got pretty crazy music going on, it's, it's actually like a pretty cool rift and whatnot as you try to survive and take on all the challenges of the area, and I thought it would be fun to showcase this experience and give you a whirl of what it's got to offer. It's kind of angelic to a degree, I guess, as you go around smashing enemies and blasting them to bits. Sup, birdo thing? I don't need this. And then you collect your currency, and that's kind of how you get different things to use as you battle foes. And there's like challenge rooms and boss rooms. That's actually kind of intriguing. You can diff get different weapons too. There was like a shotgun type thing, and you know, stuff like that. And again, you have to be on the beat. You can't just like shoot over and over again. You know, you've got to actually be firing away properly in order to deal with stuff. And you usually get a reward when you finish an area. You never know what kind of guys you're going to have to deal with. An O plate? Okay, clear? Get out of here. Let's go back to that other room where that box was and see if we can get a cool reward for doing it. Anyways, shoot, dodge, battle, blast things away. It's very much a throwback sort of experience. Let's, I think this one specifically because it's like a room with a chest in it. But this might be something worth grabbing. Precision up, nice. So you can see we got these kind of ability things that upgrade. You get points based on your, you know, performance and whatnot. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Not super helpful. I was kind of hoping to, uh, you know, kind of get a better gun, but whatever. So we get a powerful arsenal of weapons and tools, diverse enemies with rhythmic behaviors. I mean, even the bird thing was like bopping its head off. But yeah, you gotta kinda keep the beat going. As you annihilate your foes. So yeah, it's, it's actually kind of a different sort of shooter. I mean, if you don't got rhythm, you're a little, a little screwed on this one, but I don't know, it's just kind of like an intriguing experience. Wow, I can't believe I actually died by a fly. That was a little embarrassing. Oh, and there's difficulty options and different locations that you go to. It all loads really fast, too. Uh, 60 items that buff your character. I'm kind of a little disappointed almost that I lost that quickly because, well, I was starting to get some cool stuff. Uh, there's also challenge modes if you want a little bit of an extra challenge gameplay-wise. And yeah, it's just kind of wild. You should see the opening where it's got like this angelic lady kind of screaming. It's kind of a little crazy. Like I said, when you die, you know, roguelike being the sort of focus here, you do have to sort of restart and whatnot, which is, again, part of just what the genre is, so you kind of know what you're getting into when you're going in and doing this. And while, you know, it is something similar to what we've seen being a, a bit of a shooter roguelite, it, uh, at the same time, is kind of fresh just due to the fact that, well, it's done to the beats that are going on here. And I guess it's an epic rock opera soundtrack kind of thing going on. That's cool. Now you go spider things. Never did I think I'd ever be shooting to a beat like this. Seriously, I would have never expected a game like this. It's actually kind of creative if you really think about it. Oh, I miss you, little one. Yeah, I was having a, a lot of time with that one. 
Oh yeah, and there's the auto rhythm in the settings too. If you're doing particularly bad, it'll let you know if you're uh, messing up your shots a lot. It'll be like, you know, there's an auto rhythm option. But I feel like that also takes away part of the experience having the auto rhythm. If that makes sense. Yeah, this game's about the beat and whatnot. But if you do struggle with it and you want to still play the game, you know, that is the option that kind of is present for you. Hmm, let's see, rhythmic enemies, different abilities. Yeah, I think I basically kind of went over the gist of this one. You're going about blasting, shooting things to the rhythmic option that's going on. It's got like a groovy visual style to it. It's got some fun, some quirks. And it's a little bit crazy, I mean... Quite a bit of a challenge, that's for sure. Especially if you're not as musically inclined as you might hope to be. Like myself, I usually have issues with that, but, you know, still kind of neat in that regard. And then, as I mentioned, seven main boss things, and then there's obviously going to be like some kind of ultra overlord sort of thing on top of that. So you want to get some beat dodging going on. Overdrive update added a bunch of new stuff to it, so that's something that's included in this one. Fight as that mighty Valkyrie to repel the forces of the underworld, which seems largely include spiders and bats and stuff. Well, I mean, it gets more complex as you go along, but... You know what I mean. I just never knew they were doing it to the beat. Gotta have a key to go into the library. We don't have right now. Why are there so many of these bat things? Ooh, baby bat got me. Not as cool as a baby shark, that's for sure. Ugh. Let's get down to it. I mean, it loads fast and stuff, runs well. I don't really have too many issues with it. It just doesn't really give me a great sense of progression, if that makes sense. You kind of just keep going and whatnot over and over again from the start sort of thing, and that would have been interesting. Hello there. I guess I gotta go earn some points and I can come back to the market. I mean, it is fluid and smooth, that's for sure. It's a lot cooler when you get more intense weaponry, I'll say that for sure. <laughs> Although it can be slightly more frustrating to try to keep the, uh, the shotgun and whatnot going to the beat. Die. I don't know. I mean, I think the visuals are probably the biggest standout point of this. Aside from having to actually keep the, the shots and whatnot to the actual music. But uh, I do like the look of it. It's so weird. Challenge room, neat. Ooh, and it was the baby bat that ended up getting me again. Oh, come on. Unbelievable. Asgard level one. That's obviously one of the upgrade things. Anyways, that's uh, BPM. Blitz. Per minute. 